everybody welcome to audacious amber today i'm going to be making empanadas this is no way in the form of authentic way to make it um my husband is puerto rican and i'm african-american and i like to make dishes for him that are similar to what his mother would make so this is how i make it i actually just wing it um Sometimes I just do like a garbage empanada, which I mean everything in the refrigerator that's left over I put in my empanadas. These are my seasonings. I have onion powder, adobo, garlic, pepper, cumin, and smoked paprika. This is my disc from Goya. Normally I like the bigger ones, but I will work with this. This is my sofrito. My mother-in-law makes it for me in batches and she freezes it and I took it out to unthaw so it looks kind of mushy but you know that's what it looks like. This is my ground beef that I froze in from BJ's aka Costco. They're all the same. And in here is my uh, veggies. I have scallions in here because they were left over they were starting to get bad so I put them in there. I have a jalapeno in there. I have a green pepper and I have onions in there. And I'm just going to saute that up with some olive oil and garlic and the sofrito, get that going. And then I'm going to add this with it and then I'm going to add my spices and then we go from there and I'll record it. Watch, you know, you can watch me do that. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, I got my camera set up. Um, it's a little off. This is the pan I'm using. I got oil in here already heating up and I'm going to put the sofrito in there first. I'm gonna heat down a little bit. Oh shit. <laughs> Forgive me. On this show, you're going to realize I cuss a lot. I don't mean to. It's just, it happens by mistake. Alright, I'll just use this. Thing. People be messing with my shit. Alright. Get the sofrito in, get that going. I'm going to get my veggies in. Put that over there. I might have used a little bit too much oil too, so I'll save these by the side. I didn't want the onions to come out that way, but you know, I'm making it work. I do not feel good today. So, I'm doing what I gotta do. Just winging it. And to be honest with you, when I cook, that's all I do. I wing it. I have three kids. Gotta go to the bus stop. Gotta do this. Gotta do that. I got, ain't got time to be accurate. Ain't nobody got time for that. My garlic, because I like a lot of garlic. My husband's like it. My children like it. That's the way we do it. I got cheese, but um, it's a shredded cheese and it's some hard sharp cheese we had left over. I have provolone and that's not typical, but you know, I'll shove it in the empanadas to give the kids some cheese because I like my empanadas with cheese, but some might not have them. It's okay. I only have 12 discs anyway, so it's not like it's going to be a major lack. So what I want to do is get these very translucent, very a little bit mushy, but still have bite. I want these uh, onions to fall apart like that. I'm just going to saute that. Now my uh, ground beef is frozen, so what I normally do when it's frozen like that, I just put it in the pot and I let it do its thing. Um, and then once it's all defrosted, then I go in and I add my veggies and I add my spices and then I saute that up and then I, uh, drain it if it has too much fat and then I add, um, and, and that's it. I just drain it when it's too much fat and then I put it to the side, I let it cool down and then I do my empanadas. get into the area where I like them. 
So I'm going to take them off the heat and put them in the bowl. Like I said in the comments, I know some people will roast me because they're Spanish. But like I said, I am not Spanish. I am African American and I learned from my mother in law how to do this, but I do it the way I feel like doing it. Alright, so this beast is very still frozen. So I have to do my thing with it, defrost it in the pan. Every once in a while I gotta come over here and check it and scrape off the meat. And that's the battle I'll be doing. I'm not gonna sit here and let you watch that. It's kind of a process, so I'll see you later. All right, everybody, so that mountain is down. I finally got that ground beef down. Um, I don't know what the percentage was, but obviously, as you can see, there was a lot of water in it. If you get the right percentage, you really don't have to drain it so much, but I will have to drain it because you don't want your empanada soggy. Okay, now I'm going to do my seasoning. Now, everybody, I'm old school. I was taught old school. I do not really measure things in teaspoons and tablespoons so you gotta forgive me but this is how I do it so this is the cumin I'm going in pretty much what I do is I graze it on the top and you know afterwards you taste it to see what it needs all right so that's my cumin I guess you could do like a tablespoon, I don't know. I'll just do my thing. Smoked paprika. And you don't want to over season, that's one of the things I hate. Fresh cracked pep. I get that from Maddie Madison. I kind of says it, fresh cracked pep. I'm a YouTube head. I like to watch all these people cook on the YouTube shows. My favorite is Maddie. I watch Judy, Judy's Life, for the mom stuff. Because I'm a mom and I try to figure out how to do things easily like her and her husband does, who has an awesome cooking show. I don't know his name quite well. Normally people like to link it in below when they're referencing people, but I don't have time. Like I said, I'm a mom of three, and my one-year-old is very picky. She's very jealous. She does not want a computer or a phone in my face. She wants to be in my face. Alright, garlic powder. Use that liberally. Onion powder. My onion powder just seems to be stuck, so we ain't working with that. I wanted to just throw that out. Too much moisture in my house. Alright, when it comes to salt, I try to wash the salt because sometimes I get a little too heavy with the salt. So I'm just going to go easy. And you got to remember, some of these seasonings, especially when you start going, has MSG in it, so... Uncle Roger would be proud. I'm putting something with MSG in it. Okay. Now you just mix that up. You'll put the seasonings. Get all up in the meat. And from what it looks, I mean, the moisture is beginning to evaporate, which is good because I turned up the heat a little bit. But you want to get that size all mixed up. And you got to taste it. I hate when people cook and they don't taste the food. 
Like, why would you serve somebody and you don't know what it tastes like? It's weird. Weird to me. All right, let's get these veggies in. Like I said, these onions, I normally like them to diced a lot more than what they are. That's annoying me right now. But like I said, I'm not feeling too good today. I'm just winging it. What you get is what you get. If you don't want to eat it, you don't eat. That's the rule in my house. What I serve is what I serve. Go get your life. I ain't got time for the bowl. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. That's looking good to me. All right, let me taste for the salt and pepper. Let's see where we're at. Let me get a spoon. Oop, dropping shit on the floor. More crap. Doesn't need any salt. Like I said, the, the adobo and the MSG, I mean the um, the, 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 the bone has a lot of um, salt in it. Um, that's not spicy enough for me. My husband likes spice, so I'm gonna put a little bit of these in here. Red pepper flakes. Just a little because the kids gotta eat it too. And I'm not really accustomed to too much spice. But he likes a little cake. So that's what we're gonna give him today. You know you gotta make the man's stomach hungry. I mean not hungry. Happy. I'll wait till man's heart is for his stomach, right? Alright, so this is what we do. Alright, so I'm going to turn off my heat, I'm going to let that cool down, and then we're going to do the empanadas. <laughs> 